Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Journey YouTube channel. There again. Um, all right, so this video today is about only could be the fair on the camera, anyways. Video this man is about oh, and the tides them as you can see in the introduction of the video in the first part. The tides them low, them very, very low today. They've gone right back down, you know. You see much calmer this morning. That's why you know about crashing and all of that. Waves crashing, you know. Nothing else not crash, just the waves of them. And yeah, so this man wants to talk about the seven seals, the seven chakras them, you know. So you find out the human body is a chakra system. The human body has a chakra system. Every body has a chakra system. Every 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 physical body, every living being has a as a chakra system. Some not as developed as some as others, but you all know based upon frequency and vibration, you know, it, it vary the chakra system we have in your body vary. No. The human chakra system no. You know, seven major chakras them are, you know, from the base to the crown chakra. Right, so you call it seven chakras. They are um, chakras are, are also energy points, seals of energy, you know, energy vortexes, um, portals where energy pass through. So the human body in full alignment has seven chakras fully open. Um, some people, you know, when in a full alignment, have maybe six open, have five open because some of them can be blocked and not completely blocked, you know, some of them can just be out of balance. But them still open and, and functioning. Some of them may, maybe have a over a over balance, you know, have a over maybe it's open too much. A chakra, a certain chakra point um, open too much. Like maybe if a sacral chakra out of balance, say the chakra sacral chakra over open, you will find you have a sex addiction. You get what I say? Because your sacral deal is sex. Now if it if it if it don't open enough, now you find say the the, the, the need for sex generally, you know, your sex drive very low. You know, because the sacral deal is a lot of sex, you get to me and say survival, you will fear survival, you will always wonder where the next dollar come from the sacral out of balance. Now, I'm not come to explain the chakra them this morning, I just come to tell you about the chakra system where you and body have and the Kundalini and all of that. Now, when the Kundalini awakens, you know, on a spiritual journey, the Kundalini, a lot of things can trigger your Kundalini for awakening. You know, whether it be through stress and turmoil, where the higher self put you through in order for you to awaken to certain things. You get to me I say some people Kundalini awaken through pain and suffering. Not like literal pain and suffering where you go starve to death. No, like through a lot of errors in a society. Maybe you book up on a lot of you know dead ends in a life. And you go with a lot of problems where you make you have to deal with this, you get smarter, you get to me I say, or the Kundalini awaken because of them something there. No, other things can trigger it for what me too, you get to me I say but we are not get into that right now. I just want to talk to you about Revelation and the seven seals. Now when them talk about the seven seals in a Revelation, say the eye opened the seven seals them and him alone could have, um, no man was worthy for the heaven, nor, nor in the heavens nor on earth nor under the earth to open the seven seals and read the words in it. Now the seven seals, when I talk about are the seven chakra in the human body. You now once you open the seven chakra, you realize you, you get access to the Kabbalah. And the Kabbalah is the, is, 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 is the, the knowledge, the book of knowledge. You get what I say? You get access to the library, the Akashic records. The Akashic records, that's a like library in you know, the spiritual, the spiritual library of information. You know, the Akashic records. It's supposed to be located in the sixth dimension upward. You get what I say? So once you, once you, once you open all your chakra them from seven chakra them once them in alignment not even fully open but once them in a somewhat alignment you get access to the akashic records you get naturally you get natural downloads you get what i say so that the book that i talk about you know in a revelation when they say the per um the most i open the seven seals them and get access to the knowledge the knowledge where the most i get access to was not no literal book not was no physical book because the akashic records and if you understand spirituality you understand say once the kundalini rears from the base of the spine to the top of the crown of the head which is the base chakra to the crown chakra and most of the, chakra, uh, most of the chakra them actually in alignment not all you know because all of them do have in alignment for actually access the akashic records you know because man get download before before all the chakra them open you get what i say so when them talk about Eilis Selassie you now and say yes he my god that's why i mean i feel like Eilis Selassie is you know, 
God because me knows every man of God. You get what I say? So yes, he was a divine being. Yes, he come here, come access, come do things where he come show black people how to live. That is what most of the messiah. That's what all of the messiah them actually come to earth, come do. Them come show mankind the potential what them have, and then mankind know based on the fact, based on the times we have go through. The moment mankind see a, a, a being and do things with them not capable of doing a, in the present moment, they call him God. And that was the mistake that they make with Yeshua, that was the mistake that they make with Buddha, that was the mistake that they make with Shiva, all of the gods them what they follow. I say that them man, they are not great beings that come do godly things. Yes, they come do godly things, but they are not better than the average person, which is what the man them always tell them. Say, yo, all me have shown you is the potential of the human consciousness. So if me can walk on water, that means every other human being can walk on water too. Because all me I do is show the man them say, yo, once you put in the work and awaken the fucking spiritual body, the Merkaba, which is in every friggin' person. I don't know if it's in the um, non-melanated body, but I'm sure about the melanated body. It is in the melanated body to activate the Merkaba. And once you activate the Merkaba, you can literally start teleport. They can start moving for water, they can start healing their own sickness, they can heal other people's sickness too. You get what I say? Which is, you can raise the dead, and you can do all of that. You literally become immortal, and you become a god, the true god that you are, because you really are a god, you know. But we weren't taught that. So the average man feel like that you have been calling himself God. He might blaspheme. No, you're not blaspheme, you are God. I'm explaining that already. You want to know how you are God now? You're responsible for trip like. Trillions of cells. You're responsible for tri trillions of cells in this biology, you know. And you them depend upon for everything, you know. If you don't wake up in the, this morning, the cells them and everybody can't wake up, you know. And you are the god for them, you know. Them are just the little minions, them. It's like how we up on the earth and move around. That's like you. You know, that's like how your cells them work in your body, you know. Them work to keep the body in order. When you eat them, digest your food, them break down the things them for you. They get to keep you alive. So you are their god and them. Them depend upon you for everything, every single thing, you get what I say? And you depend upon them too, so it's a, you know, code, it's, it's a relationship like that that was mutual, mutualistic between the body and the cells, and same like how we, we would have been cells on the earth, or cells in this whole universe over in our know, experience, and, and same way it works. We depend upon the earth for everything, and the earth depends upon we too. Don't feel like, say, yo, the earth no need we, because if the earth never need we, wouldn't they here, would manifest in the earth. But they have to help the earth, they have to not help you kill. You get what I say? So that's why I'm going over say, you know, all I will come here for a specific purpose. And if your purpose is to do bad, you have to always do bad. If your purpose is to do good, you have to always do good, and no man can change you from that. So, no judgment in anything either. Because I'm not judge the one who do bad, I'm not judge the one who do good. Because with the fine say, you have to always find, say, yo, even in the good, you have to find a little bad in there too, you know. Because not everybody has to see the good. 100% good in good, you know. And then even when I see bad, not everybody I go see 100% bad in my body, you know. Because little good I feel the bad too, you know. You get to me, I say, so there's a balance in my life. Not because you see a man out there to be a bad. Little good in him too at all times. And not because you see a man out there to be a good. Little bad in him too at all times. So you say, so there's a balance in the universe, a positive and negative run thing. And I just negative alone. And I just positive alone. And not because you're a positive man, you forget to judge a negative man. No, and not because you're a negative man, you get up and you're a positive man. No. All I want to come here for a purpose, I want to have to coexist, I want to have to live together. You get what I say? So, all you do is just try to find a balance. If you know say a man is a positive man, you try your best to just work around him. And if you know say a man is a negative man, you try your best to not work with that man too. Because we have to coexist, you can't go around and fight against people, it's a war, you have to constantly create. And we've been living in a war throughout the whole life, throughout the whole era that we have gone through in the evolution of Earth. And that's how we stop here now. We have, we have come wiser people. The human consciousness has grown, brother. The human consciousness is growing. You can't get up every day and repeat the same things our ancestors repeat because of foolery. And them not raising no things right. You know? Stop fighting against people who think different from you. No, no, no unity now will come so. You have to learn about the people. You have to be smart enough to understand a man. I just saw him stay and he will change in the time if he's supposed to change. And if he's not going to change, I just saw him go stay. You know, you have to find a way of live around that man the same way. Whether you live a mile from him and you know some more or less shout him on the phone or whatever. But if you can't coexist with him, it doesn't make sense. You go around him and then you know your war go on. Because you have contributed to the war too, you know. You get what I'm saying? 
Because you understand the man, you still, you still do what you know, so the man uh, get riled up. But, anyways, you know, once you. When we talk about the chakra system, now when them say Eilis last year, I want to sell the seven seals them and yada yada and get access to the book. They might talk about the seven chakras them, I'm opening the seven chakra points them and access to all of the you know, information because the chakra points them are energy points in our body. But once them align, information start flow. The Kundalini represents knowledge. They always put it in the ancient Gnostics, them write about it, the ancient Egyptians, Egyptians them write about it, in the area. In fact, they might always show the snake, you know. Even today, society, the medical, in you know, the medical industry, you see the two snakes them on the, on, on the pharmacy thing. In the, you know, the pharmacy, them look at the pharmacy logo in the most parts of the world. You see the two snakes them, the RX. That is representing the Kundalini, which means you're in a full balance and a full health. You know, once you're in a full, full balance, the human body in a full balance and a full health, you're going to be able to do human things because most people right now now operate um, like human beings. So when them see people come do things like the Jesus and Yeshua and Buddha. When they see them man, they come act like regular humans now. They think that they are God. But they are not God. They just show you how the regular humans are supposed to behave. You get what I say? We today think that the regular human beings are supposed to go out work, go make money and come home and stress. No, that's not what the human beings are supposed to do. You not behave like a human being. That's up. You behave like something else. Now the human being is supposed to behave like a prophet and a priest. Because that's what we DNA decide, design to do. We don't design for come out just to work because you see, we body not, we body not even designed for it. If we design for work, we would come big and thick and strong like all the ox them, or the cow them. But we never come so mean, we never come for hard labor. We come for use this, that's how we get this over every other animal. We get that brain power, but actually make we can think. So we can work smart instead of hard, because we body not designed for doing the hard work. So we design for the smart work. You get to me I say? We design for use the brain. We design for use the mind to create reality. And that we design for do. So if you now use your mind to create a reality like a metaphysic, metaphysician or an alchemist, then you now behave like a human being. You get to me I say? So all the man they really come for doing them open their seven chakra, which is the seven seal, and access the, the book of knowledge, which is um the, 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 the library of knowledge, which is um the Akashic Records. You get to me I say? The Akashic Records all every information from the dawn in a time up until now and even information we not experience it that means that the Akashic record exists in a place where there is no time a time fluid so the past, the present and the future exist there so the past knowledge, the present knowledge and the future knowledge is accessed in the Akashic records and once you open your seven chakra them and align yourself you have, access, you have access to information that is present, past and in the future so you find so you have the information about everything. You get to me, say, so tell me, say, I'm not God now. You get to me, say, and every human being, every melanated human being is capable of that. You say, so that's all the man them did come for the Eilis Lassie, Marcus Gavi, all of them man there. He come for show you, say, yo, the human, the melanated body is capable of doing all these great things. Not that the man them are God or a prophet or some, something where you want to put labor upon them as. No, they can show you the full power. And if you just realize it, you get to me, say, that's all the man them that I come show you, no power. <laughs> you get to what I say? So one of the journey YouTube channel. That's all about the seven chakras, the seven seals, you know? The, the Akashic records, the Kabbalah. So one love, big up.